Nation, this is Steven Turner. So, as many of you know from my Instagram, by the way, if you ain't following my Instagram, I don't know what you're doing. It's uh right here. But anyway, I've been using hand-me-down bait casters since I started bass fishing competitively or more thoroughly. Growing up fishing with my parents and my family, we've always catfish, striper fished, and we're real big on crappy fishing. My dad's actually called the crappy man around here, and he puts on his own little tournaments and everything. But me being the black sheep of the family, likes bass fishing a, a, a lot more than crappy fishing. But don't get me wrong, I can go out there and catch some crappy, which I will be in this, in this series. But to get to the point of the video, I went out and purchased my first bait cast. I mean, it's a budget bait cast, so don't get me wrong. I mean, I work a nine to five. I'm not out here slinging millions or thousands or hundreds or tens. What we got here is the Agility by Shakespeare. And I paired it up on an Enforcer ST Jimmy Houston rod. Which, I mean, I wanted a seven foot or seven foot four uh, medium heavy rod, but the only really place you got around here to go buy a rod and reel is Walmart, and they didn't have one in. So this one is a 6.6, six, I believe. Yeah, it's a 6.6 six, six medium heavy. But, I mean, the rod to me is actually really nice. Especially for like Texas rigging and stuff like yeah, I, I would I would love a one with a bigger backbone and longer like a seven foot, but The, the rod itself was forty dollars thirty nine dollars so I picked it up and I paired it with this agility the agility was twenty nine ninety five It's a six to one ratio, which is awesome for me It winds smooth it throws good I I mean, when I first got it, it backlashed a lot, but I had to tune it to how I throw a reel. But as soon as I got it, I mean, I could flip it, cast it really, really far with anything on it. I got it paired up with 12-pound mono, the cheapest that you can find at Walmart, working fine for me. And in my past video, actual first catch of the video I caught with this reel. So I've used it for about two weeks now. I'm not going to sit here and tell you oh my god this reel is awesome you need to go get it without actually trying it out so i've been using this for about two weeks now and i ain't got no problem with it now i'm still using my other reels like my brown reel i'm using it for my crankbait rod and i got another one for my spinner bait and all that this one i'm, I'm mainly going to use for flipping and pitching and just worming in general either weightless or texas rig right now i've got it paired up with a the Texas rig Cinco, and you'll see in the videos of me throwing it. I mean, just barely throwing it. I'm throwing it halfway across my yard with just a little bitty weight on it. I mean, that, that's all the weight I'm using in the Cinco. So I mean, it's throwing good. I mean, the rod tips got fairly decent action. <clears throat> but the way I fish, I'm, I'm always. I'm crappy fishing, we, we don't troll or anything or use a spider or anything. We use one rod and jig for all our crappy. And so, normally when I'm fishing, I have the line right here so I can feel everything that happens, which works out for me. I mean, it may be better for you if you not to do that, but to me, it's a habit. It may be a bad habit, I don't know. But, yeah. But I recommend this rod to anybody. The rod in real cost $70. So if you're looking for a budget rod under a hundred dollars and you if, if you can find a better rod, like a longer rod, don't get me wrong, I, I love this rod. But at the same time, I would like to have a longer rod. Now the reel itself, I'm probably gonna go buy at least one more, maybe two more, because I mean, I love the reel. Now it may wear out 
you know, after a couple months, I don't know, I'll let y'all know. But at the same time, for my budget, Agilities by Shakespeare, I recommend it. Yeah, that's all I got for y'all today. It's windy, still outside. We got this cold front moving in and out. It's getting dropping down below 30s here in South Carolina again. And I'm not one to fight with the wind. My trolling motor is 19 years old. So <laughs> hopefully I'm going to go fishing in the morning. I've been looking up uh, off-market off action cams because I can't afford a GoPro. If y'all have any recommendations, let me know down below. I've, I've seen some for about $40 and then you could spend like $16 and get the chest strap and the head strap. Because I had like a, a little off-brand action camera. Well, I still have it, but the battery only lasts like an hour. But I think my mom paid like $15 for it. But uh, the battery only lasts like an hour and I can never, I'm 6'4", I can never find a sweet spot where it would actually show like my hands and everything like everybody else's looks like. So I'm hoping I can figure something out and actually get a real chest mount because I had to make my own. So, yeah. I would recommend my combo. It's an Enforcer ST by Jimmy Houston. It's $39 and some cents at Walmart. And the Agility 6 to 1 by Shakespeare is $29. So around $70 for this whole budget. And I spent $5 on a spool line. So about $75. And then, you know, terminal tackle, whatever you want to throw. And you're good to go fishing. I hope you enjoyed this video. This has been Steven Turner with Turner Fishing. I'll catch you next time.